This is one of those cocktails you make too because your wife is totally going to steal it from you. When we were at Muriel's restaurant in New Orleans, a ghost told Mrs. Zamora, try the honey child cocktail. So she did, and she loved it. So I thought, well, we better make our own and keep those ghosts from haunting us. All right, guys, the first step to making our version of the honey child is get yourself some basil, slap it on your hand, and smell it. Because it just smells so damn good. Take two or three leaves of your basil and just toss it in your uh, shaker cup. Now, if you don't grow your own basil and mint for cocktails, you're doing it wrong. You're spending way too much money. But if you want me to make a video on how Mrs. Zamora and I grow basil and mint for our cocktails, leave a comment down below. We'd love to show you a video of that if you're interested. Next, we're going to throw in 20 blueberries. Now, Muriel's in New Orleans, they use blackberries. We don't have any. We have blueberries. So we're going to throw in 20. Why 20? 19 is fine too, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why I have choose 20. I just did. Grab your muddler and then press down into all that goodness. You can smell the basil. You can smell the blueberries. Next, we're going to add honey vodka for vintage distilling. Now, they use a different brand. I don't actually have the brand they use. I'm going to use honey vodka for vintage distilling. It'll give you a slightly different taste, but I think it'll still taste good. Two and a quarter ounces. The perfect pour. Next, we're going to put in three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, and I've already measured that out. Now, last but certainly not least, we're going to add Chambord, one ounce. I'm going to grab yourself a couple of big of these big cubes of ice and shake the holy crap out of it. And double strain it into a martini glass. All right, once you get it strained, Grab a little bit of basil for garnish, give it a couple of slaps. Now I'm just going to float some basil leaves on top because I think that looks pretty sweet. All right, everyone, so that's our take on the honey chow from Muriel's Restaurant in New Orleans. Let's give it the old Collie's try. But before I do, you know what to do. <laughs> Slap that follow button for me. Cheers. Holy crap. Wow. That is some, okay. This is one of those cocktails you make too, because your wife is totally going to steal it from you. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Wait a little longer. <laughs> Don't get snacks. <laughs> that's surprisingly good. Damn, that's pretty. The basil really helps out, like the basil float on top, the two of them just sitting there. It's delicious. 